वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टू द थर्टी सेवेंथ लेक्चर ऑफ बायोलॉजी सो फार अंडर द टिश्यूज टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्लांट टिश्यूज टुडे आई हैव कम विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द एनिमल टिश्यूज लेट्स सी वेयर द वेरियस एनिमल टिश्यूज आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स द मेन टाइप्स आर द एपिथीलियल टिश्यू द नर्वस टिश्यू the muscle tissue as well as the connective tissue and all these four tissues they are earning a respectable place in the whole body and the various organs of the body taking the example of stomach we can see that the stomach being a muscular bag it is uh, covered by the smooth muscular tissues below the smooth muscular tissue it is the uh, areolar loose connective tissue below the uh, areolar tissue is the lining of the columnar epithelium so that it is responsible for the secretion of the substances which are a part of the gastric juices and to control the functioning of the stomach are the nervous tissue and the neurons and for uh, the um, provision of the nutrients as well as the uh, oxygen the blood vessels they are loaded with blood so all these different kind of tissues they are present in each and every organ of the body first we will be discussing about the epithelial tissue and under it let's see what are the various characteristics of the epithelial tissue students the various cells under the epithelial tissue they are very compactly packed and these compactly packed cells they may be arranged in a single layer or they may be arranged in many layers if they are arranged in a single layer the lower mo the uh, single layer of cells they are resting on the basement membrane and if they are of many layers the lower most layer it is resting on the basement membrane and this basement membrane is there so that it can provide nutrition to the cells which are in the epithelial tissue as we already know that the uh, there are no blood vessels or no nervous tissue in the epithelial tissue region and whatever blood vessels or nerves are there they are running from the lower portion of the basement membrane so for provision of nutrition it is required that the basement membrane helps in this all these epithelial tissue are actually covering the whole body and the organs of the body and these epithelial tissue are also lining the cavities of the body as well as the various organs now broadly talking about let's see what are the various functions of the epithelial tissue the very first function it is there in the skin in the epidermal region these epithelial tissue they are acting as a, pro, a waterproof covering they are uh, preventing the body from any kind of mechanical damage and they are also preventing the microbes to enter into the body that means the skin is acting as a local defense system of the body the epithelial tissue is also helping in the exchange of the gases uh, or the material uh, like in between the alveoli and the blood capillaries uh, or between the blood capillaries and the uh, tissues of the body as these epithelial tissue are very very narrow cells coming on to the uh, secretion or role the epithelial tissue are also lining the endocrine as well as the exocrine glands like the sweat glands the uh, sebaceous glands the uh, tear glands the uh, mammary glands thyroid gland the pancreatic glands so that they are helping in secretion in the kidney they also play a very important role in exchange of material during urine formation as well as for filtration of blood and in the uh, elementary canal in the intestine region these epithelial tissue are responsible not only for secretion but also for the absorption of the digested food so that it can be evenly distributed throughout the body further let's discuss what are the various types of epithelial tissue 
these epithelial tissues can be classified uh, into many types under three main categories the very first is the shape of the cells uh, according to the shape of the cells they can be squamous epithelium cuboidal epithelium or columnar epithelium some of the epithelial tissues are distributed in the body to perform a very important and a special role so according to that epithelial tissues can be of the special kind also and according to the layers the epithelial tissue if it is in a single layer the cells are arranged it is called simple epithelial tissue like in the lining of the alveoli blood capillaries sweat glands and so on uh, and if the layers of cells are arranged in more than one layer, multi-layered, then the epithelial tissue is called as stratified epithelial tissue. And the very best example of multi-layered stratified epithelial tissue is the skin, where it is called as stratified squamous epithelium. And uh, the cells, they are arranged in many layers. And as gradually we see that from below to upwards, the dimensions of the cells, they keep on changing. The lowermost layer of the uh, epithelial tissue is resting on the basement membrane and uh, gradually as the time passes the upper layers of the epithelial tissue they develop a protein called keratin so the cells become keratinized so that they can uh, be waterproof protecting the inner regions of the body and the skin uh, from dehydration and a general protection also according to the second classification the shapes of the cell they can be the very first is squamous epithelium that means where the cells are flat thin square like uh, they are uh, arranged just like the tiles are arranged on the floor and uh, being very narrow and thin uh, cells they help in exchange of material filtration as well as transfer of material from one in, um, part to the other like in alveoli of the lungs uh, and between the blood vessels or the blood capillaries uh, in the Bowman's capsule of the nephrons of the kidney, they are helping in ultrafiltration and uh, in the epithelial cells of the skin and uh, in the uh, cheek region in the lining of the mouth. Next, we have the cuboidal epithelium. In this, the cells are cube-like and these cube-like cells, they have a, a nucleus in the very center and uh, these uh, cuboidal epithelium, if they are lined in a single layer, they are called simple cuboidal epithelium. Uh, just like in case of the tubules, um, the proximal tubule as well as the convoluted tubule of the nephrons of the kidney and uh, they are also lining the uh, ducts or tubes of the various glands of the body like the pancreatic gland with the pancreatic duct, sweat glands, uh, salivary glands, steer glands, thyroid gland and so on where they may be two layered. And wherever these cuboidal epithelium are present, they are actually helping the uh, that part of the body from um, and protecting it. The third category is the columnar epithelium, where the cells are pillar-like or column-like, just like the pillars of a building. The cells are very long and rectangular, resting on the basement membrane. In these cells, the nucleus is always uh, at the lower or the basal region and uh, because uh, for secretion and absorption, the upper surface is kept free and uh, such columnar epithelium is always present in the later part of the digestive tract like in the stomach, uh, small intestine and the large intestine where they apart from protection they are also playing the role of secretion absorption and sensory feature the next category is the pseudo stratified ep columnar epithelium students pseudo means false why because this epithelial tissue at the first glance appears to be multi-layered 
but if we see very closely we can see that all the cells in this epithelial layer are resting on the basement membrane and they arise from the same level but the height of these cells is different some are short and some are long column like uh, but actually they are one thick layer of cells only not a multi layer according to location we can see that the uh, pseudostratified columnar epithelium is lining the uterus of the females that is the endometrium lining they are also lining the trachea and the bronchi in the uh, human beings and uh, in a way wherever they are present they are protecting the that organ of the body the next uh, type under this category is the ciliated epithelium where the cells may be columnar or cuboidal but they have developed a special feature or hair like filaments uh, which are called as cilia which are helping in the beating movement and through uh, this beating movement they are uh, transferring the material from one side to the other just like in case of the trachea bronchi ureters of the excretory system the ov duct of the female reproductive system and the food pipe and along with the transfer of material they are passing of material they are also helping to trap the germs so that they can protect that region coming on to the third type of classification uh, where the epithelial tissue are performing special feature is the special epithelial tissue the very first type under this category is the glandular epithelium this epithelium is present in the various glands of the body like the tear glands sweat glands the sebaceous glands the pancreas the uh, liver where the glandular epithelium it is folded inwards all the cells are folded inwards to form a secretory region as well as the uh, uh, duct so that the uh, secretions can move out and uh, the second category under this is the sensory epithelium which is present in all the sensory regions of the body like the nostrils the olfactory lobes that is or the um, uh, eyes or the uh, cochlea of the ear or the skin or the taste buds in all these regions the cells they are associated with the nerve so that they can perceive the sensation and transfer it to the brain the third category is the pigmented epithelium and students pigmented epithelium we are able to uh, remember two prominent places in our body first is the melanocyte secreting cells uh, melanin is being produced the pigment melanin gives color to the skin which is present in the epidermis of the skin second is the retina of the eye where uh, rod and cone cells they have rhodopsin and iodopsin respectively so that they can help in the proper vision of the uh, through the eyes the fourth category is the germinal epithelium and you are already aware through the skin chapter in the epidermis of the skin the lower most layer is the stratum granulosum which is uh, sorry not stratum granulosum uh, stratum germinatum which is germinating new cells to be added to the upper regions of the epidermis and the other places are the testes in the males where the seminiferous tubules are germinating and forming new cells to produce sperms and in the ovaries of the females where through various stages they are helping in the production of the egg or the ovum next is the uh, special um, ciliated columnar epithelium which we have already discussed under the shape category here also we can uh, categorize it because uh, they are performing that special feature of passing the material from one end to the other just like in the food pipe during peristaltic movement the cilia they help in the transfer of food as bolus from the pharynx to the stomach region so students these were the various kinds and subcategories of the epithelial tissue in under this 
category of epithelial tissue you are going to study under three headings that is the shape and structure of the cell the location of the uh, epithelial tissue and the function it is performing next time i am going to come with a new type of uh, animal tissue till then go through this video carefully keep learning keep studying stay healthy and fine thank you